Hey everybody, this is Kodak here, and you might notice that the Baku Frisbee on my table has been replaced by a garbage bag, and that's because today we're reviewing GARBAGE! I mean, today we are taking a look at Treasure X. Now, this is something I'm sure all of you, at least in America, have seen on store shelves in one form or another, and honestly, I don't know why it keeps coming back, because Every time I see these things, I, I keep seeing them being put on store shelves, but every time they have to be clearanced out. This is uh, the Treasure X Dragon series, it's part of the second series that was put out, but um, it's supposed to be normally sold for $15, but as you can see, I only paid $4 for it. I don't know if it's like doing better in a different part of the country or something like that, but um, honestly, truth be told, I have filmed a Treasure X review three times now. This is the third time and I just haven't been putting them out. So Treasure X is uh, by Moose, the uh, Australian company, um, and I 110% guarantee that the sales pitch that they gave for this thing was LOL surprise, but for boys, because that is basically exactly what they're trying to make with that. What it is, is instead, it is, um, as you can see, they sell, they, they have the, the, the 10 steps to open it, like LOL surprise, has, but um, what they're advertising here is um, it's an excavation toy. It's a toy that you use to, uh, that you dig out of a slab of whatever. And these things, these sorts of toys are everywhere. They're not exactly a new thing. You can get them at like the dollar store. You can get them cheap, any museum. I grew up with these and you know, I'm old now. But um, it's essentially the same thing where you dig out a character, but the the shtick here is that you are supposed to be able to find real gold. Uh, there's supposed to be uh, versions of these toys that are gold-plated, and I guess that's um, the big hook that they're trying to use to get people to buy into it. I, I, it's definitely used for uh, clickbaity YouTube videos, will we find the gold treasure, stuff like that, but like every time I see these things, they have been like some they've been an abysmal failure they've had to be clearanced out everywhere I am like I said they might be doing somewhere they might sell a box but otherwise they, they don't do so well and this this gold part now that I think about it is actually such an intrinsic part of it that the the, the boxes that they send them in are like covered in a gold foil on the inside the idea that you can get like actual gold from these things is a huge part of these toys identity <laughs> and uh, like, like I said, uh, this is the Dragon's line, so instead of like, normally they're like a skeleton, like, action figure, this time they're supposed to be a dragon with a dragon heart and ooze, because as we all know, slime is still a big thing. I mean, I, I guess slime is fine in small doses, but it says, reveal your treasure with a chance of it being some sort of gold treasure. Although, like I said, I haven't seen, like, a huge following for these things online or anything like that. Um, it's, it's been pretty lukewarm. Um, they were everywhere for a while, but anyway, let's let's open it up. It's supposed to be like a ten-level thing. Uh, get a bit of a better look at the package here. Yeah, the, the the they're they're really all in on that gold. They make it look like a big old gold brick. In fact, the newest ones I think actually come in like a molded like gold brick like carrying case so that you're not. Uh, I don't know if there's there's probably still a lot of digging involved, but they're in like a, a like a plastic case. Maybe I'll have to take a look at that in the future. But uh, I got the lights on it pretty well here. You can see how uh, how just how crazy reflective and goldy they made this packaging. It's it's a huge part of the the brand's identity. So anyway, I like to try to open these boxes without destroying them. So let's see. Oh, <clears throat> I've already failed that. <clears throat> oh man. Failing this one pretty badly, but there we go. <clears throat> so we have, uh... oh, come on, we have a little tray there. We have uh... that's a very very big block of thing there. But what we have is also we have the the digging tool. There's also a uh... it's it's a four point digging tool with a drill, a spade, a chisel, and a rake designed to make it easier to open. Um, I don't know. This one might actually be different from the one I got in the. Uh in the action figure one. I know it's different from the miniature figure one. They actually have like miniature ones that are like $5 instead. The first ones were $10, the exact same price point as the um, as the original LOL surprise, but now they've made like 
a tiered strategy. Oh, everything is on fire. <laughs> Why is everything burning? Um, is the, the whole the whole world is, uh, I don't know, is, is this like the, the nuclear hurricane? Did Lavos emerge from the Earth's crust to destroy everything? But yeah, they've, they've come up with a tiered approach where uh, now they range in uh, price from 5 to 15. So we have our uh, potential, uh, our potential digs here, Arctic Plunders, Wasteland Scavengers, Serpent Raiders, Bling Barbarians, the Bling Viking. They have Bling on here twice! Mythical Marauders and Toxic Plunderers, super rare glow-in-the-dark dragons. So let's see if I can get like the Mythical Marauders. Those seem like the coolest ones. We'll see what comes out of here, but um, the other sets, uh, the actual like, uh, it used to be like a set of 24 just ordinary skeletons, but now it's uh, one character in each tier per, uh, per thing. So there is one uh, one uh, ten dollar one fifteen dollar and one um, five dollar character and they have a set that contains one of each I don't know if it's like straight run all the same character or what but we'll have to see but apparently there's something special I have to do with this map here and that is contained inside this gigantic brick which is again wrapped in gold they really like to really like to push that point here and it says on here important for easier digging unwrap and place block under running water for 30 seconds. I highly advocate this because the first one of these I had, I didn't do that, and the dust from these things gets everywhere. I can only imagine what it's gonna be like with um, a block this size, but apparently first I need to find an item inside here, so I need to unwrap this block in order to find the, what is it, the dragon eye? Uh, let's see. Well, I guess that's the first thing I can use this thing for. Ah. Persistent, isn't it? It's, there we go. So yeah, it's just a big old block of stuff, mass-produced stuff. Uh, let's see. Man, that, that almost looks like something you'd buy at Pottery Barn. Okay, there it is. The mythical dragon's eye. Okay, they have like a like a dragon eye, like molded into here. That's kind of interesting. With the other, with the original ones, it was like a special coin. Like, like a gold coin that you look on the map for, so... Uh, oh, it just kind of pops out, okay. And now it just has a little X in there for Treasure X. I guess the, the tool is also an X, which is why it's named Treasure X. So what am I supposed to do with this thing? I am supposed to find something on here. Oh, I see. One of these treasures has this, uh, has this sort of Batwing logo on it, I assume. Oh, it looks like the dragon eye to find the X and reveal the treasure you might find. So, so the X is on this hammer over here. It says may find. We'll have to see. So, the X I'm seeing on this hammer here. I mean, you can kind of see it without the help of the of the eye, to be honest. But the idea, I guess, is that the red filter makes it more clear. Yeah, there we go. If I just bring the filter all the way up to the camera, you can see there's an X there. There's no X there. But there's an X on there, so that's the hammer. What does the hammer come with? Hammer of glory. It doesn't say what uh, what we uh, what which one it goes with, but um, I'm assuming it's probably it's probably the Asgardian dragon, seeing as it's a hammer. But we'll have to see when we open this up. Although first we need to give this block a soak. There we go. Now that it's all nice and saturated, hopefully it'll. Uh, chisel away fairly easily, although uh, it actually started to give way a little bit on this side. I think that might be the the heart right there, so I guess we're gonna start right here. So there's supposed to be several pieces, enough to make a, a dragon, and then the heart. Oh. Yeah, it's chipping away in, in much, uh, much larger pieces here. Oh, found something else already. So this is a uh, this is the horn here, or the skull perhaps. Yeah, it chisels away a lot more easily when you uh, when you remove the the thing there. My only concern is that you might accidentally stab into and damage the toy inside. I guess that's uh, hmm, let's get the dragon eye off to the side here. 
I guess that's why you'd uh, want to uh, do it with the plastic one so that you don't accidentally damage the toy. But yeah, it cut, cuts apart really softly now. Like, if you don't soak it in water, it won't come across, come out in clumps like this. It'll instead come out in, like, dust that goes everywhere, and your, your entire house will wind up looking like a construction site. Wow, uh, this thing's pretty solidly in there. Hmm. Let's see if maybe I can pry this surface away here. Oh. Oh, have I hit something else here? Oh yeah, I think I have. Let's see. Man, I found the two biggest pieces right away, and then there's the a bit of a... There it comes, almost. Just need to get that horn loose. Ah, so we have... We have a skull. Looks like it has uh, cute little eyelashes on it with uh, big old copper horns and a, a gold muzzle. That means we have... Yep, it's the Asgardian dragon, as I predicted, since it came with the uh, the hammer, because, you know, that's the only piece of Asgardian lore that people are familiar with, is Thor's hammer. Um, but there's our head. Up next, I have hit, uh, yeah, what is uh, clearly a wing. I can also continue to try to get this uh, heart out of there. That's a, that's a pretty... Pretty big, uh, pretty big heart you got uh, going on there, dude. That's uh, that's the, a pretty big heart for the size of the body that I'm clearly digging out. The heart's bigger than his head. Uh, so, man, I can still see I'm making a, a pretty huge mess of things here, even with the garbage bag down. But yeah, do these outside or with a tarp of some kind. Otherwise, you are asking for a mess. I guess there's sort of an appeal to digging into, uh, discovering, like, ancient civilizations and stuff, like, very, very Indiana Jones sort of thing, where, uh, you, you essentially dig up, like, lost and forgotten civilizations, and I guess that kind of thing in the real world can't really happen so much anymore, so that's why there's this, uh, big appeal of the fantasy of it. But yeah, like I said, I used to do these toys all the time. They were dinosaurs instead. Um... These can take a while, huh? Oh, I'm getting them all over the floor now. Oh, boy. Uh, but yeah, they're like dinosaur kits, but instead of like the, the, the soft stuff like this, it was instead like a bunch of... Uh, oh, that looks kind of cool. They're getting that... Uh, getting that leg stuck in there that actually kind of looks a bit like a fossil dig. But yeah, um, they were instead like a bunch of pebbles glued together, and you instead uh, chiseled that apart kind of a kind of an old pastime of mine and then you put the skeleton together but yeah like I said this is this is nothing new and the fact that it doesn't seem to be doing well in my neck of the woods uh, I think a lot of people are uh, keenly aware of that I mean I've definitely encountered a few people who are excited to see them but clearly there's not enough of those people who, oh <laughs> if they keep having to go on clearance whoops I uh, broke the whole thing so <laughs> that speeds things up we have a dragon body here which is in plastic wrap with a gold, uh, a gold money sign on it for some reason. I guess the ancient Asgardian dollar sign, what, uh, that's supposed to be. Um, we have the dragon heart, looks kind of like a, like a, a Shrek pineapple, more accurately. Um, we have a foot here, because the whole thing schismed on me. This whole thing's just gotten a whole lot easier. We have a, a back leg. We have, uh, Probably another piece in here somewhere in this portion here. Well, I'll have to see. There's the other wing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna break this darn thing. Ugh. I've lost patience. Uh, we have a front leg. We have wing, tail, and back leg. That means I am only missing one more front leg. Or one more, one more rear leg, I guess, yeah. Okay, so that is all of the components, and this is a big, big mess. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's all the components. It's the, the front legs, the back legs, the skull, the body, the Shrek napple. Uh, 
So anyway, we are going to clean this up quick. I might break this just to see if there's anything else in there. I don't think there would be. Um, we are going to uh, clean this up, we are going to wash these pieces, and we are going to put this thing together. Oh man. And here we have what remains. A bunch of, uh, a bunch of dust and a bunch of body parts. So, this is the Asgardian dragon, complete with the, uh, I guess, official Asgardian dollar sign. I was kind of wondering if this necklace could, uh, come off and be interchanged with other skeletons, but apparently that's not the case there. Bit of a missed opportunity there. Uh, we have, uh, unique to these, of course, are the wings, the, uh, the other ones, the wings and the tail, although... I guess the five dollar ones that have tails as well. Uh, the stuff actually cleans off pretty easily. It's uh, it's actually designed to dissolve in water, so cleanup isn't so bad as long as you don't like get the powder on like anything fabric or anything important. Because that stuff, you know, uh, like like I said, it looks like a construction site here. Um, but very 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 basic skeleton here, and then we have the 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 head on there so that's our uh, that's our Asgard dragon there just a little figure there pretty basic pretty simple uh man my my uh, table is still covered in this junk I'm glad I didn't have the the stuff on it but yeah pretty uh pretty straightforward just a a very basic action figure worth fifteen dollars I'm not sure I guess a lot of what you're paying for is the uh, experience of unboxing it, and uh, for YouTubers to, uh, of course, see if the uh, Shrek pineapple contains uh, a, a golden treasure. Now, it actually has, like, a, a bottle cap on here because it's supposedly in slime, and I highly doubt I got a gold treasure in here, but uh, I guess we get to find out together. It's in... sort of, uh... Hmm, it's not really coming out here. Oh, there it is. And it is a regular treasure. Nope, not a gold one. So, awfully tiny little treasure, isn't it? Is he supposed to, like, hold it in his mouth or something? It, this thing kind of sucks, actually. This is, this is, uh, I think this is one of the reasons why this line isn't doing so well, because the star attraction is literally the smallest piece inside the whole thing. Uh, with LOL Surprise, one of the reasons that had an appeal is because the final product in the final layer is the big toy, the big baby, and you get all the little accessories leading up to it. I think that's one of the reasons why that does so well. It has a nice build-up and payoff. The, the payoff for this thing is a tiny, is a Monopoly piece. That's, that's, that's barely what this thing is here. It's, it's... A little stone thing that I don't think even works with the toy. Oh, I guess he can hold it like that if I'm... I'm <laughs> if I'm feeling generous here, but, uh... Not a lot of slime in there either, like, barely enough to cover one of my fingers. Um, in this weird sort of... Ah, man, I, I'm tempted to, like, do, like, a lip balm experiment and fill this up with, like, green lip balm. I can say it's Shrek balm. Um... But yeah, that is, um, that is Treasure X Dragons, and if you can guess why I'm not terribly thrilled by it, and, uh, why at least people in my area don't seem to be terribly thrilled by it, I guess you can see now, but, uh, anyway, this is Treasure X, and until next time, this is Kodak signing off. I need to wipe off my table.